Hi, future RNs. I hope everybody's having a great day. My name is Teresa. I work for Kaplan and I'm a Kaplan instructor. I'm so excited for you to be here at this point. A lot of students have questions about test day. So that is what we are gonna talk about today. First, we're gonna talk about general test taking day tips. So prior to test day, do not cram the night before. If you cram the night before, you're often too tired the next day to test. You need to get a good night's sleep and enjoy yourself that, that previous night. A lot of students seem to be anxious if they don't study the night before. So make sure you're not taking a practice test because if you don't do so great on that test, then it can mess with your confidence but you can review content if you feel like, maybe watch some Kaplan videos. So that's okay to do. Just don't be pushing it through the, through the middle of the night um, that night before. Make sure you spend time to relax and get a good night's sleep. The next general tip is to take a practice run to your testing center. What does that mean? It means make sure you know how long it's gonna take for you to get from your house to the testing center at that exact same time on that date of the week because maybe it takes 45 minutes, maybe it takes a half an hour and you wanna make sure you show up there 30 minutes early before you sit for your test. So if you plan on wearing the earplugs or the headsets that they give you in the testing center, make sure you're practicing with that while you're doing your practice tests for Kaplan. So you get a feel for what it feels like to have those in your ears or on your head and also that quiet space, what that feels like. If you can have a dry erase board, which I think most testing centers are now giving you a laminated piece of paper with a non-erasable um, pen or Sharpie that you can't erase because they collect those at the end of the test. But it'd be really good to have a dry erase board just to practice on so that you're used to doing that to organize your thinking. And the next thing in the final thing for general test taking tips is to schedule your test when you test the best. Don't worry about your classmates or your peers testing at 8 a.m. If you're not a morning person, take your test in the afternoon. If you're not an afternoon person, you tend to get sleepy, take it in the morning. Okay, now let's talk about on test day. Bring food and water. What do I mean by food? I mean some protein, some carb, something that's good for you, not garbage that, or candy or something like that, that's sugary, like donuts, that's gonna spike your insulin and then drop drop your, your energy level. I would suggest maybe an apple and peanut butter, a banana and peanut butter, a protein bar, something like that, and bring water. You'll be able to put in a locker um, for when you need it. So dress in layers. Why do you wanna dress in layers? Because the testing centers can be all types of variable temperatures. It might get hot in there, it might get cold in there. So layers like a tank top and a sweater over the top of it, something like that, so that in case you get hot, you can take off the sweater. In case you get cold, you can put it back on You can and you can um, do that back and forth depending on your temperature. And if you get anxious, you might start to sweat. And then once you settle down, you might get cold. So that's also important. Arrive at the test stay center 30 minutes beforehand. You wanna make sure that you get there 30 minutes beforehand so you're not rushing. You have time to check in, you have time to get in your locker. And so you're um, not you know, rushing and feeling anxious about um, those things. So 30 minutes before, make sure you drive up to that testing center 30 minutes before your testing time. Um, keep your cell phone in your car. If you have young children and you need them to have an emergency contact, give them the testing center's number in case there are emergencies. Don't even bring your cell phone in the testing center though, because if you grab it and look at it, they could fail you for that on a break. And you don't wanna have that happen. Um, take all the breaks you're offered. Make sure you get up, walk around, go to the bathroom, take a drink, take a bite of a, a snack and um, keep yourself focused and centered and mindful. What happens if you get to a question on the NCLEX and you're just completely clueless? Walk through your decision tree strategies. A lot of times you can get to the right answer by doing that, even if you don't know what the question is asking, and then choose your answer and go on to the next one and leave that one behind. You don't want to get wrapped up in questions you don't know. Just do the best you can on that one and focus on the one in front of you. Now, what happens if you get to 75 questions and you get a 76 question? That is a time to really refocus and remember. You are in the game if you're getting questions. So any question that you get after 75 means you're still in the game and the computer is calculating and saying, they're almost there, they're almost there. Those are my test day tips, both general and on test day. I wish you all the best of luck and can't wait to see RN behind your name.